Hello guys, this is Andrew and today I'm gonna show you how to loop files from a folder using PHP. Now to illustrate the, pro the project or to illustrate the process here, I've created this folder that you can see here on my desktop called gallery and inside this folder gallery I've copied uh, these images here as you can see I've gathered all these images and I've also created a folder here called thumbs in which I've placed a copy of each of these images in a smaller version and I will use these images here as thumbnails now let's quickly begin I'm gonna copy this folder here I'm gonna, I'm gonna place this folder inside my local web server or htdocs folder I'm using lamp on Linux I'm gonna create here a new folder and I'm gonna call it uh, image gallery and inside this image gallery I'm gonna paste the folder that I have on my desktop and uh, next thing to do is I'm gonna browse my server here to view my newly created folder as you can see here on my server localhost you can see the image gallery if I go ahead and click on this folder you will see that I don't that the folder that I've copied inside here doesn't show and this is because I don't have permission to use this folder the contents and to get the permissions I will do like this on Linux on Windows it's not necessary since the Windows has uh, recursive permissions in which uh, this option in Linux is not available so we can we need to do this every time and I'm gonna quickly write sudo schmod r 777 oops 7 man hd docs image gallery my password Okay, I typed it wrong. Password. I'm gonna refresh. And voila, we can see the folder. Now, if we go and browse this folder here, we are able to see all of these images that we saw before in this format and the thumbs folder also. Now, if we go ahead and click one of these links here, we can actually see what the image we're talking about here and also the thumbs which have the same name as the big version the main version now the next step we do is we don't want to show to our website visitors the content of these folders because we might have things here that we don't want to show right now we are if we had here a file which was not part of the gallery it would be shown here we don't want that so the next step to do is we will create a empty index file HTML I'm gonna copy this file here I'm gonna paste it inside this folder thumbs here too and let's see here now let's refresh the gallery and we can see it now uh, we could create another index file here in the main folder image gallery but I don't want to do that for now I want to create a file here and I'm gonna call the file loop images .php let's go ahead and reload and open my editor here I'm using sublime text 2 which is my editor of choice I really like it next step I'm gonna drag and drop the folder here into my projects you can see here we have the folder and the loop images 
Let's go ahead and edit the loop images.php file. I'm going to create a new PHP block. Now, there are many ways to do this, but this is the way that I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and open this folder here. And to do that, we will do gallery dir. Don't mind the names of the variables because I'm not very good at naming variables. Z equal to open dir dir gallery. So what we did is we assigned this value of the open dir gallery to this variable here, gallery dir. Now to show uh, the way to loop all of the, the files inside is we need to create a while loop while and we will say false it's not equal to reader get reader I'm sorry we need to also assign a variable here file name is equal to uh, if you go and search to php.net you would you would find uh, even more detailed information about this while loop but this is not my intention right here to but basically what this means is as long as this file name equals to read dirt to read directory the uh, to read the files that are stored inside this gallery there here is not equal to false so have files we will display each of the names of the files inside this file name let's quickly echo out echo file name and write a break tag okay now let's browse the loop images okay now as you can see here we have the names all of these files that we that you saw before inside the image gallery directory we could create links here to browse the files as before but as you saw before but uh, I think that I will show you a even better interesting way to do that and next thing that I want to show you is if you can see here if you can notice here we have this dot which is not part of the file that were inside the directory and this double dot here which also was not part of this directory and also we are able here to see the thumbnails folder where is it oh, I can see it oh yeah thumbs now we don't want these dots and this thumbs folder shown here and to do that we need to create a sort of uh, allowed area or permission area or restricted area let's say better and the best way to do that is I'm gonna create an array restricted and I'm gonna say array sorry about that array now in this array I'm gonna say dot double dot thumbs index dot html also because we don't even want to display the index dot html file that we created inside here which enabled us to hide the contents of the folder and then we also have a file which I don't have here but uh, I'm sure that Windows users know about this file thumbs.db which is a Windows system file to store the information of thumbnails for each images if you uh, remember if you browse the, a, a folder 
of images folder in Windows you would see all of the little images thumbnails but those thumbnails information of those thumbnails uh, is stored in this file here thumbs.db which I don't have here on Linux but in a Windows environment I'm sure you would have it and you don't want to show that in your loop next thing is this file name I'm gonna say if in array and here in arrays we want to check if the file name here shown here does not match any of the restricted area here if file name so needle a stack would be restricted and echo out the information here below let's save here and I'm gonna quickly go and refresh the browser oh we see here that the double dot is not gone yet so we'll see here oh of course yeah save again let's go here and refresh and everything's gone now we can here if you see here we have the folder thumbs has disappeared so did even the dot and the double dot and the index file also the next thing here now is this was the part in which I demonstrated to you how to display or better how the files are displayed here in the browser and how we did to get the way that we did to get all of these files here the next step that uh, will enable us to really create an image gallery is what I will do is I'm gonna delete this here or I'm gonna just comment this out and I'm going to create an array files array which is equal to file name I'm gonna show you later why I did that right now I'm gonna show you that every file name now that was inside this folder gallery is now stored in this array to do that I'm gonna do for each files array as file echo file br enter and refresh and as you can see here nothing has changed the same information that was here before it's now again with this array here now I'm gonna show you why I did that now let's say that we have an enormous amount of images here to display and those images fill all of our screen and our viewers need to scroll down to to the infinite to let's say view all the images and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna paginate all of these all the output of this folder here in uh, let's say uh, in a way that our viewer does not have to scroll and uh, get annoyed on board of our website and to do that I'm gonna create another part for this tutorial and until then uh, the other part uh, enjoy this tutorial for, for now thank you